Hello and welcome to Train Signal. You're watching Introduction to Veeam Monitor. In this lesson, we'll talk about what Veeam Monitor offers you and your company. I'll cover the differences between the free edition of Veeam Monitor and the commercial paid edition. I'll cover what's new in the latest version of Monitor and provide you an overview demo of what Veeam Monitor looks like so that you can see it for yourself. And with that, let's get started. All right, so what does Veeam Monitor offer you and your company? Well, it's a real-time and historical performance monitoring tool. So that means it gives you all those pretty charts and graphs. But more importantly, hopefully it helps you to solve real-world problems in your virtual infrastructure. It also helps you to do capacity planning and analysis so you know ahead of time when you need to add new hardware. Or perhaps so that you're alerted when there's a misbehaving application running in a virtual machine that's causing problems for your infrastructure. Now it's built specifically for the vSphere virtual infrastructure. That's all it does. It does vSphere performance monitoring and it has unlimited alarms with modeling to sort of automatically tune the thresholds of those alarms so you don't get a lot of false alarms. It also integrates with Veeam's free business view so that it can report on your virtual infrastructure based on how your business is organized so that it can tell you when there's an alarm or there's an issue with a group of servers related to HR and it actually knows what virtual machines are related to HR. So really it does performance analysis at every level all the way from the virtual data center all the way down to individual processes on virtual machines running Windows. What else does it offer? Well storage monitoring, hardware monitoring, capacity planning and trend analysis, a drill down all the way from the highest level down to the lowest level and then, like I said, the process monitoring at the virtual machine level and even console access to every virtual machine running in the virtual infrastructure. It's really cool and I think you'll think the same thing when you see it for yourself. So what's the difference between the free and the paid edition of Monitor? Well, with the free version, you don't get historical performance data. That's the biggest thing. So when you buy the Monitor, it starts tracking your performance in the virtual infrastructure and you'll have a long-term history of that performance and I think that's really cool if you like the tool you should purchase it to get that historical performance monitoring it also provides full storage monitoring complete trend analysis and capacity planning scheduled reporting so you can schedule reports to be sent out drill down into the virtual machine ESX virtual center server and even Windows and Linux process monitoring as well as an unlimited number of alarms now once you start using the free version of Monitor to upgrade, all you need to do is to enter your paid license key and you'll get to keep all the uh, reports and everything that you've defined, but then at that point it'll start tracking the historical performance for your virtual infrastructure. So what's new in the latest version of Monitor? Well that full business view integration I talked about, there's a new view of the top ESX host servers. They fully support Windows 2008 R2 and Windows 7 as the host operating system for vMonitor and then there's also SQL 2008 support. So at this point I want to give you a demo of what vMonitor looks like so you can see it for yourself before we start the installation process and configuration. Let me show you a version of vMonitor that I've been running on my virtual infrastructure for a while. So this is vMonitor for VMware. If we go to the highest level here at the vCenter level and go to summary you can see here that it knows that we're running vCenter version 4. We have three data centers, two hosts, 14 virtual machines, and three data stores. We can scroll through the tabs across the top here and get the latest information for the entire virtual infrastructure. Information about CPU, memory, network, disk, swap, top virtual machine utilization, and top host utilization across the infrastructure. We can see the lowest loaded ESX host. And if we scroll over to the right here, we can check out any alarms in the virtual infrastructure, as well as events that have been going on. We can look at all the processes across the entire virtual infrastructure, as well as access the virtual infrastructure console if you have the vSphere virtual infrastructure client loaded on the vMonitor machine. Now the tabs across this interface will change as you go through the different objects in the virtual infrastructure. For example, if we go to the ESX host, we can see overall utilization just for this ESX host and top virtual machines just on this ESX host. Now because this is an ESX host, we can see hardware information for this host. We can see the temperature of the motherboard, speed of the fan, etc. 
we can go to events and processes just for this ESX host. Let's go ahead and connect there. And there, there's all our processes running on the ESX host. We can sort here by CPU utilization, memory, CPU time, etc. Now if we move down to the virtual machine level, for example, here's our vCenter virtual machine. We can go to the summary tab, see information about the virtual machine, its operating system, VMware tools, etc. Overall performance for this virtual machine, CPU, memory, network, disk, swap, uh, alarms, events. And what's real cool is we can go to the console for this virtual machine even inside the vMonitor client. We can also check out the processes on this virtual machine. Of course, you have to provide credentials for the guest operating system. And there we go. There's the processor utilization. For example, this process has the highest memory utilization on this virtual machine. Now, what's also very cool is we can go down here to the data store level. And we can check out information as far as disk space availability across all the data stores, disk I.O. over time, any disk issues or alarms. And we can also see this information over time, over the past week, month, year, hour, or a custom time period. Something else you can do is you can go up to the reports here, and you can run an HTML report, a trend report, or a scheduled report, and you can also do modeling for the different objects in the virtual infrastructure. Modeling is to allow you to gauge the thresholds that you should set on the alarms that you configure. Let's close that out. So that's a very quick overview of vMonitor for VMware. And with that, we can go back to our slides. All right, so what did we learn in this video? We started off learning about what does vMonitor offer? You learned that it's a historical and real-time performance monitoring tool for the VMware virtual infrastructure and vSphere. Not only does it give you those pretty charts and graphs, but it's going to help you solve real-world performance issues in your virtual infrastructure. It provides so much more than what the vSphere client provides, which is just basic, real-time, and short-term historical information. vMonitor provides really long-term historical performance monitoring information. It also provides complex alarms about that performance data and drill down access all the way from the highest level of the virtual infrastructure all the way down to the individual processes in the virtual machines. We covered the difference between the free version of vMonitor which doesn't have historical performance monitoring that being the main feature and the commercial version of vMonitor. I talked about what's new in the latest version of vMonitor. Primarily there's a lot of new features related to the uh, top virtual machines and ESX host as well as business view integration and some other nice features. And then at the end of this video I provided a quick demo of what vMonitor looks like so you could see it for yourself. In the following lessons I'll be showing you how to install vMonitor, how to configure it, and how to use it to solve real-world performance problems. Thanks for watching this introduction to vMonitor.